Hello, my name is Dr. Randall Kurtz and I'm a chiropractor, acupuncturist, and bassist, and I specialize in the treatment and prevention of musicians' injuries. I've been asked to review this Adamovic five-string bass today, uh, and I'm going to be looking at it more for its ergonomic properties, that is, how it is made and can be formed to help the player to avoid injuries such as carpal tunnel, muscle tension, neck and back pain, uh, rather than its sonic qualities. The bass sounds great. You'd certainly be able to find plenty of examples of, uh, of different players, uh, probably on the Adamovic site and other sites, uh, so you'll be able to hear how the bass sounds. But from my perspective, let's talk about how the bass is built so that it can help you to uh, avoid injuries uh, such as the ones we've just talked about. Uh, what's really nice about this bass is while it is formed from an ergonomic perspective, things have been taken into consideration to make sure the neck sits right, the body, placement of the bridge, etc., which we'll go over. Uh, these are things that don't take away from the appearance of the instrument. It's a beautiful bass, as you can see. So let's get started. Uh, what I look for in an instrument is, again, is it going to be heavy? Is it going to be lopsided? Is it going to cause your hands and arms to go in angles that they're not used to or shouldn't go to, which is part of what's going to contribute to tension and to these kind of problems in the first place. So one of the things I look at with the right hand on this instrument is the fact that the bridge is placed in such a way that I can play on the bridge or up more without either extending my arm outward or bending my wrist in such a way that it causes it to flex too much, which can cause problems with carpal tunnel. Uh, it's very comfortable for me to move from place to place and not have to worry too much about, again, bending the wrist or putting the shoulder outward. So that's a big, uh, a big plus for me. As far as the left side goes, what I really like is the fact that while this is a 35 inch scale uh, neck, and uh, it is a five string, of course, as you can see. Uh, it feels more like a 34 or a 33. The neck is placed in such a way that the nut is not as far out uh, as many bases with this scale length where you would have to, again, put your arm out or your wrist at such an angle as uh, to uh, hit these, early, these notes up towards the headstock. And in this case, you don't have to. You can keep your arm fairly close to your body while still hitting these notes, and you don't have to bend your wrist as much while you're doing it, uh, which again, bending the wrist is what causes a lot of the problems that we wish to avoid. Uh, no problem with the neck being set deeper down here because these cutaways make it possible for me to be able to play up here easily without, uh, without any trouble. So that is a very, uh, a very useful thing and a very thoughtful thing that they've thought of uh, as well. So the nut being closer, that's great. The back, uh, what the back of the, the body is, not only is the body thinner uh, than you would see on a base of this uh, size or, or stature, meaning five strings, um, the back has two levels to it. So uh, you may or may not be able to see that by the way I'm presenting it, but why that's important is because it's almost hollowed out here so that it fits your body. And then it bulks up a little bit back here where it's not going to be on the body, and so therefore you still have the mass that you need for the good sound and for the uh, good balance of the instrument. So that's a feature that I, I quite like. This molds to the player, and the other part of the, the, uh, the body here, again, uh, has more mass where it needs to be. Um, again, a very thoughtful thing, which doesn't take away from the playability of the instrument or the look of the instrument. Um, the, the bass is lighter. It's about, it's about 8.1 pounds for a five string. Very, very light in that regard. Uh, it has side markers, which I find not only to be uh, attractive, but also uh, make the player not have to lean over like this if they're intently looking at the fretboard, craning their neck forward, and also the rest of their body, their wrists, etc. following suit. You're able to look down, see these fret markers, very easily and find them and go to where you need to go without any trouble and again without having to crane your neck forward. Very useful.
Uh, the strap buttons are placed in such a way as it helps to balance out the base evenly. So where I set the base is where it's going to stay. It's not neck heavy. If I want the base to be here, I can let go and it's not going to dive forward. If I put it up here, I can place it there. It's also not going to dive forward. I could accommodate the base like this. If I'm going to put it forward more like that, again, it's not going to go in any specific direction. It's going to stay essentially where I put it because of the thoughtful placement of these, uh, these strap, uh, not locks, but the strap buttons rather. Uh, again, the bottom cutout, very nice. So I'm able to play here where I need to. The instrument, Again, having that nut closer allows me to be able to play in such a way that the strap is going to conform to the back of my shoulder blade, my scapula, so I don't have to, again, put the shoulder out, causing the scapula, the shoulder blade to rotate, and therefore the strap is either sitting on the muscles of the neck and has to either put, uh, press down more tightly or has to go outward along with the shoulder blade. It conforms to the shoulder blade without being too tight. That's because it's a very good groove gear strap uh, also, but certainly uh, because of the design, again, of the nut and of the body, it allows for the strap to fit on the back without being at an awkward angle and your arm won't have, and shoulder won't have to move too much to make that a problem or to make that, uh, that uncomfortable on the back or on the middle back, which can certainly be a problem uh, for players who have muscle tightness between the shoulder blades, which is many or most of, of us. Uh, so again, um, base stays in balance, sounds great, doesn't look like a base that's designed to have these special considerations in mind, but it does. Uh, all Adamovic's bases are like this uh, that I've seen. This is the sole model, which I believe is a newer model. Um, again, really does the trick from an ergonomic perspective. Uh, in my opinion, they, they've really hit a home run here. So I urge you to check them out. You can always check Adamovic site, uh, which I believe is A-D-A-M-O-V-I-C dot N-L. Um, and I'm always available at my site, which is D-R-K-E-R-T-Z dot com. You can also email me at D-R-K-E-R-T-Z at drkertz.com. So it's been a pleasure to play and to review this instrument. Um, check one out and uh, happy playing and uh, good health to all. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.